Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're well. Today I'm going to give you a demo of the new ISDT 405 AC battery charger. This is a 60 watt charger that uh, is mains powered and can charge up to one to four cell batteries and up to five amps. Here's the full spec. But what I'm going to do is give you a demo of this high quality budget charger. So the charger obviously comes with a power cable and an instruction manual. I've had a quick play with it and it is very intuitive to use. So I think you'll probably only need to refer to that for reference. This is where you plug in your battery, it's an XT60. You've got the balance tap here. Two, one, uh, sorry, two, three, or four cells are supported, and you've got your navigation buttons up and down, and a center button. The vent on the side for the fan, should it need to use it on either side, and then on this side, you can see where you plug in your mains power 100 to 240 volts. And there's a US little USB port, USB C port for upgrading the firmware, should you need to do that. So let's switch it on. And I've got a little three cell battery here to plug in. So XT60, as I said. And then the negative or the ground wire on the balance tap goes to the far left. And you'll see straight away that it gives you the individual cell voltages and the overall pack voltage. It's also detected that it's a 3S obviously as well and default is LiPo. So now what we want to do is to charge this up. Now this is a 3S. 2200 milliamp hour pack so charging this at 1c which is what we would do to maximize the longevity and health of this pack would be 2.2 amps 2c would be 4.4 amps so you can see that we're about four volts per cell and if we want to charge this click once and we get into this screen. There are five presets. The first one I can see is for discharging with of batteries of chemistry lipo. Um, but 4S down to 3.3 volts per cell at a rate of one amp. Now we don't want to do that. We do down button to go through the other presets. And this is useful because we can change these presets to our most commonly, most common battery charging tasks. So let's look at the second one. There are up, there are five in total that you can use, but we'll choose the second one. Let me show you first off what happens if you do this incorrectly. So we've got a we plugged in a three cell. It is configured to charge a lipo, but of four cells at five amps. If I start charging, it recognizes the mismatch between what I'm telling it to do and the number of cells that the battery actually has. So we've canceled that. Let's go back in and change. So we want to charge. We go through these and you can see that we can discharge we could uh, discharge to a very low voltage, wouldn't want to do that. We can set it to storage charge, which is if we're not gonna use the battery for a long time, then we would discharge it down to 3.8 volts per cell. We would not want to keep batteries at their maximum uh, cell voltage. So for LiPos, that'd be 4.2 volts per cell. We wouldn't wanna do that for too long. I don't tend to do that for longer than one or two weeks. But let's set it back to charge, move on, LiPo, 
We can go through the different chemistries that are available. So we've got high voltage lithium packs, lipo, lithium ion, lithe, uh, lead acid, batteries, nickel metal hydride. And this one I've not <laughs> seen before, but this is obviously a, uh, a lithium chemistry variant that we would charge up to 4.45 volts per cell. So we don't want to do that. I think that's all of them. So let's go back up to LiPo. And that correctly would charge to 4.2 volts per cell by default. We know that this is a three cell. So let's change that to three. Uh, we want to stick with the default 4.2 volts. It's important that you understand these battery chemistries and what they should be charged up to. But the defaults are coded into this charger. And then the charge rate. So uh, we'll charge this at 2C. So let's go down to 4.4 volts. And we're done. We hold down the center button and that is locked. It has saved that. So if we go up to one and back down, you can see that it has saved this task. And then we just click on the button and it will start charging. It gradually ramps up the charge voltage, the charge, sorry, the charge current. You can see the, uh, the milliamp hours that it's delivering into the battery, the overall pack voltage, and the individual cell voltages will start going up. While it's charging, we can have a look at a few other things. The resistance of each of the individual cells, this gives us an indication of the health of the battery. 13.8 is pretty good. Certainly we want to keep that below 20 if we can. If it gets above 20 then I think we could question the health of the pack. If we go back up then you can see the watts that it's operating at, the temperature of the charger in degrees C and Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's charging complete. And we can now go flying. Should have said as well that you can adjust the current and the rate of charge during while it's charging. And I'll also mention as well that if you look in the back of the manual, you can see the uh, all the supported battery chemistries and how they should be charged. And there's also an app that you can download via this QR code um, so that you could monitor via the app on your smartphone uh, remotely via Bluetooth. So that's it, this is the ISDT405AC mains battery charger. Supports one to four cells, 60 watts at uh, up to five amps charge rate. Thanks for watching, see you next time.